Good morning, everybody. Orin Jay here with another Nino Cooney Crossworlds video, and I'm coming to you live from COVID HQ, aka my house, where my voice sounds like absolute trash because COVID is still kind of kicking my ass, but I have to make videos to make money. So let's do a video over familiar hatching in Nino Cooney Crossworlds. There's a lot of bad info out there about this. I'm going to show you the actual ways to increase your chance of getting four stars. I want to start with a little bit of warning about bulk hatching. The first is people think think you're actually increasing your chance by clicking these four star tags in familiars and grade. You are technically, but not by much, and you really need to be doing a lot of bulk hatching for this to come in, because these only increase your chance if when you bulk hatch, a four star tag appears in those hatches, and there's a very low chance of that happening. In fact, there's about a 0.7% chance of these even mattering at all for each of your hatching. So you by clicking these, you do not guarantee yourself four star tags. You're just, in case one shows up, you would auto click on it. The um, other thing is you're consuming sands of time by doing bulk hatching. And sands of time are actually better used as alchemy pot ingredients in the game right now. Dr. Diggs just did a great video on this. I'm gonna link his video in the description. Sands of time should be going to the alchemy pot right now. Most of the time, instead of bulk hatching, in my opinion. Now you still might want to do this, so I'll actually revisit this in a little bit and show you how you can really increase your chance of four stars with bull catching. But first, let's talk about tags and regular hatching just like this. Now, you can you have a base rate of acquiring a four star grade familiar at 0.5%. So that's what we're going to be operating off. We want to boost that number above 0.509. So how can we do that? We do that by raising the individual rates of the four stars in the four star pool, or by luckily finding a four star tag, which you will barely ever do. So check out this one right here. There's nothing in this tag set that could increase four star drops because you have some three star tags, you have a two star tag and a bunch of two star tags. So we will stay away from any of those. In this one, we have attack type, water type, and then some useless one and two star familiars. Now let's talk about water types and elemental types in general. You will only want to select elemental types if you are trying to capture an elemental specific specific four star specifically. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say I click both of these. Let's go look at the regular rates for a four star um, water. Uh, Splisher is 0.05. If I was really wanting to work on water and I only cared about getting Splisher or Siriu and they're 0.05, I could click these water tags and I would boost their individual rates to 0.12, more than twice what they were before. However, I don't recommend this because I've actually lowered my chance of getting a four star in general. And I think when you're doing this generic egg hatching, you just want any four star you can get. So, even though I did boost their rates, I don't necessarily recommend selecting the elemental type. Now, attack type would be good if there were more attack type four stars. However, there's not a lot of attack type four stars. You can thank the earth element for this for really only having one. So if I click attack type and I go look at my results, it actually drops it to a 0.4%. Even though it does boost the attack type four star specifically, overall it nerfs the pool. So I don't really want to do that. Let's go look at this third egg right here. On the third egg, I have attack type again. I have some other useless ones. Let's reset my wishes. Aha, perfect. I got a support type tag. Now, in the four star pool right now, there are a lot of support type four star familiars. If I click the support tag and I go look at my drop rates, we've boosted the chance of me getting any support type four star familiar to 0.7%. A what? Over 0.2% increase, right? Let's unclick that tag. Yeah, before it was 0.50. So by clicking the support tab, I now have a 0.74. Fantastic. My chance of getting a four star has gone up. And so I really recommend using the support type tag. You are not nerfing the chance of getting your other four stars very much, but you're raising Shrimp Paler, Splisher, Disbelief, Buddy Bot, who is like one of the most OP familiars in this game. It's still 0.003, so it's still not very good, but you did boost it. You're also boosting Flutterbee, Thumblemure, uh, 
and a pig record. So enough of the four star familiars get a boost with the support type that I actually think it's a good idea to click these whenever you see them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hatch this egg. It only consumes an egg and my stardust, of which you will just have plenty um, if you're doing this type. Now here, nothing good. I'll go ahead and refresh this one time. Uh, nothing good here, I'll just go ahead and hatch. And this one, nothing good. I'll drop 15K. I don't like spending a ton of money on these, but oh, let's check defense. Okay, normal rate, we're at 0 0.5. Defense, I'm gonna guess right now this lowers it. It actually takes it to 0 0.39. So unless I was specifically going for a defensive type familiar, I would stay away from this. Now me specifically as a destroyer, I might consider this because Molten Lion and Stragthorn are two of my like, most important familiars. So maybe I will go ahead and run this for me specifically, but for other classes, I wouldn't recommend it. Now, let's revisit bulk hatch. If I was doing bulk hatch and I wanted to just maximize my chance of getting four-star familiars, the first thing I would want to do is put my regular three eggs up. I want to make sure that I'm knowing what my tags are for my first three that I'm going to hatch. So I know what those are. I can go to bulk hatch now and then click these. So start your regular three eggs first, then go ahead and click these. It's a low chance they'll come in for you, but there is a chance. Then click support type. By doing this, you will have boosted your chance of getting a four star familiar. You will be, uh, you know, you will be consuming some sands. I'll go ahead and do one right here. Let's see if the RNG gods are just in my favor. Okay. We consumed all of that. What did I get? I got a two-star turtle. So it didn't work out for me there, but it's okay. If I go into my resets though, look at this. My shrimp paler that I got was on two support tags. I went double support tag, pull the shrimp paler, who is a really useful familiar in, uh, in the familiar arena and uh, just in general in the game. So it's really worked out for me in the past. Okay. That's going to be the video, guys. That's how you, uh, that's my opinions on how you want to boost your four star familiar rates. Thank you for hanging in there with my uh, voice problems. I hope it's not too stressful. Uh, that's it, y'all. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.